Okay, so I think I'm live. Let me make a few adjustments here. <clears throat> make sure that I am live on YouTube. There we go. I'm on YouTube. Okay, I think this setup's going to work. Did I mute this? There we go. Okay, so I think this setup's going to work. Sorry about the swaying. That should stop unless I hit my head against it. Let me see where my workspace is here. Okay, so welcome, everybody. Um, I have talked about in the, let me move my computer over here. I talked about how, uh, and I guess my first video that uh, one of the things I do is create um, 3D mixed media pieces using the uh, acrylic paint pouring technique. So I wanted to show you some examples of that. Uh, here's one that I did where I was inspired by the colors that were in these leaves. So I have most of my pieces so far in the three dimensional have been uh, metallic or metal that I find basically at the thrift store. And I cut them off of things and then I create a painting that I can attach it to. Some painting, most of the paintings are inspired by the colors in the uh, metal that I have found that I want to use. So here's an example of one. Uh, here's an example of another. Uh, the paints in these particular ones are also metallic paints. Uh, the coating that I've put on, I should talk about that. Like how have I attached these, these, uh, metal pieces to the canvas. So uh, some people you have used to coat their acrylic paint pouring, they've used resin. I personally do not like to use resin. It smells like crazy. It's kind of an exact science. So I did find this, uh, and this is from watching other amazing acrylic paint pours test all kinds of products on YouTube. Um, there was an artist who found this tri art liquid glass, which is really easy to use, but there are some things that I should tell you about it. So one of the things is, as you can see, the product has a cream, it's a creamy color. It does dry clear more or less. The thing is, is that you want to, it dries quickly as well. So you want to pour it on there, pour an excessive amount on because it's better to have too much than too little and then really, really, really tilt it and let it pour off. That way it won't mute your white colors in the painting. Uh, so that's just one of the things that I've learned about using this liquid glass. The other thing that I like about this is that uh, it, I have found it's an awesome way to attach three dimensional pieces to your artwork. It just, when you're done pouring it after the, of course, after your painting is all dry and, and uh, then you pour, you are using the liquid glass after you've poured it on there, you've tilted around, you've gotten all the excess off, then you want to go ahead and drop your three dimensional piece where it is that you want it to stay and dry. And I really like how that works. So these are a couple smaller examples of three dimensional pieces. I'm gonna show you one here that uh, the gallery that I show at, 
I was blessed to receive a second place uh, showing in the members show at the gallery that I'm at. So this particular one, obviously, I is a much larger canvas. I was totally, I had actually painted the painting um, way before I found the butterfly. But as soon as I found the butterfly, I was like, oh, yes, this matches this, the colors in this painting perfect. I see this is a river rock right here. I love the, the colors. And then I built the frame. I wanted something raw um, that kind of reminded me of a boat dock at the river and the butterflies. So there you have it. So I, when I found that butterfly, I had found this butterfly as well. Uh, this one I call Metallic Bloom. It's, uh, I used the colors in the butterfly as the inspiration for the painting. And we're going to do a similar technique today with a third metallic piece that I have, um, which is right here. I haven't cut it off of the stem yet boy that lighting is really horrible now that i look over there hey hatter great to see you <laughs> uh so the in the metal sconce that i'm uh using today to inspire this painting is a dragonfly it has these wonderful i don't know if you can see these Wonderful colors. We've got golds and bronzes, and uh, we've got this really nice turquoise. And so this is the colors that we're going to use today that are inspiring this painting that I'm going to attach this to when it's all complete. <clears throat> so the colors that I'm using today are... Um, are for, um, let's see, let's do this first. Okay, I think that's gonna work, yeah. Okay, so this is a 20 by 20 canvas. And for the background, we're going to stay with the white. This is, I like, I had mentioned in my couple of videos ago that I really like to use the um, Master's Touch colors. I really like their colors. I like the, the thickness of the paint on all of that. But for large, you know, for the background paint, in an acrylic pour, um, I you have to use a lot of paint, obviously. <laughs> so I like to use the Aeneas acrylic, just all purpose, just regular white. So I've got my large cup here that I'm going to pour all over the background. I've set aside a smaller amount to be able to pour around the color pool that I make in doing the Dutch pour technique. Uh, there's tons of videos as to what that technique is. So the colors that I'm using, let me put this over here. Colors in the paint that I'm using. So we already talked about Anita's all purpose white. Then we've got Anita's Pearl Metallic, and this color is Pearl, oh my gosh, I need my glasses. <laughs> this is too funny, let me go get those. <laughs> I 
Okay. <laughs> so this color is a uh, pearl blue. And of course I've mixed all of these paints with Floetrol and a little bit of water. So there is our pearl blue. Then we have Deco Art. See, and these are just the little bottles. You pay a little bit more for them. You don't need a ton for what I'm doing. So there's still plenty left in here for another project. I'm probably even gonna have leftovers on the side. Anyway, this is a metallic called Festive Green, which is this color right here. And then we have, here we've got um, Craft Smart metallic paint. I think this is an acrylic. I don't know, actually, now that I look at it. Oh, metallic acrylic paint. Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> okay, so this one is just gold is what it's called. It's really kind of an antique gold, if you ask me, and really muted kind of gold. I, and then we've got Artist Loft. Uh, this is a metallic. This color is called metallic cobalt blue. can see that nice pretty color there. Uh, the difference between the, the Anita's and uh, the, the Artist Loft and then also I've got a Master's Touch as well for a, a, another gold that's right here. Um, these are thicker paints. You don't need as much. Uh, you really do have to use a little more Floetrol with these a little more water so that they become the right consistency. But isn't that a gorgeous color? And then this one is actually called Antique Gold. So I wanted to use all metallics for this particular painting because I think that it's gonna turn out really pretty. Um, we are gonna use the blow dryer and let's go ahead and get started and let's see what we come up with. Hmm, I need to go wash this off. Give me just a second, guys. Okay, well, we'll use a different one. Okay. First thing we do, make sure there's no kitty cat hairs on the canvas. Not to be confused with my incredible friend, Cat. Hello, Cat. I love you. Thank you for joining me here in the chat. And... At the end here, I'll go back and read through the chat, but let's just keep in forward momentum here. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is pour my background. Well, I am gonna use one other paint, just a very, very little bit of it, because I don't want it to dominate my picture. Uh, and that's a little bit of black. This is Artist Loft uh, Ready Mixed Pouring Paint. I personally, I use this product um, on a, for a background that I did uh, on this canvas. 
right here. And you can't really tell now, but when it dried, and I just recently saw, one, uh, saw somebody else do a video about this, and they said they were noticing some pitting in their background. This paint completely pitted everywhere, and I did everything that I could to try and fix it. I really, really love this piece. Unfortunately, I learned a lot of things, and I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to... Um, at least display it in the gar gallery or even sell it. I'll probably just have to hang it in my house. So I learned about the pitted paint. I did what I could to fix that. I thought it was going to be okay, which it kind of sort of was. But then I used the uh, liquid glass. And because this is such a large canvas, uh, I didn't get it poured on there evenly fast enough. And so I've got a lot of... It's just not completely smooth in a couple of places, and it's enough to bug me. So this is where you live and learn with these product project products, and just keep on keeping on. All right. So let's get my background poured, my base coat poured. Again, this is just a plain white. Usually I use, usually I use a palette knife to do this. Uh, however, it's got something on the bottom here and I don't know if it's paint. So it didn't come right off. So I'm gonna have to work with that. And So this is a neat silicone spatula that I found. It had, does come very much in handy. So I'm just gonna get my paint spread out here so that I've got a base. To use. You make sure that you get your sides. What I'm doing is I'm getting everything a little uh, wet with paint so that when I start tilting this, it'll cover nice and evenly. So here we go.
Okay, so I don't wear gloves. A lot of people do. I talked about in a couple of my other videos that you want to make sure that you're wearing an apron or wearing clothes that you don't mind getting paint on. I've got a corner here that doesn't want to cover very well. Here it goes. Okay, now I'm going to take my torch, make sure that I don't have any bubbles in here. I'm seeing a couple of places I don't like what's happening. I don't know why it's pitting like that. Let's see if I can get that to go away. Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay, so let's get started. So, the way that this technique works, this is something that I forgot to do as well, but I'm going to do it here real quick. So this is, you know, you can get silicone and use silicone uh, will help create what they call cells on your paintings. They're, it's really a pretty thing. Sometimes they can be overdone. It depends on what it is that you're doing. Um, I've tried different kinds of silicone. This one here came with a kit that I got from Artist Loft. And you only need one drop for real. Like this stuff is really really strong so i would definitely don't overdo it on this so i'm going to put one drop in my white that goes around the edges and then i'm going to use my 
I think I'm going to put it in the dark metallic blue. I'll put two drops in that because I have a feeling that's going to do something really cool. Just a feeling, folks. Okay, so let's start. We might as well start with the blue. So I put a couple drops of, of silicone in here. And we're just going to make, start making a puddle. Just go in whatever random order. Now I'm going to put just a drop of this black. Black will really overtake everything if I use too much of it. This is a lot of paint for what I'm doing, really. Okay, so now we're going to take, I'm going to put just one more drop of the black. And we're going to put a little white in the middle. And then we're going to take the rest of the white. And we're going to put a thick Okay, so let me move all of these paints. here so just to show you guys as you can see I've chosen colors inspired by the dragonfly which I will then attach to the canvas when it dries.
Okay. I really like how that looks. I'd like to see more of the gold in it though. So this is what we're gonna do. I've got my straw. We're going to wipe off the paint that's on it, the wet paint that's on it, so I don't put it on my lips like I usually do. I'd like to see, definitely see more gold in this. So, and I have one spot over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I kind of see this as like a flower. So I'm going to put some of this gold in the middle. <clears throat> I'm going to stream out like this. All right, and now I'm gonna take my straw and use my breath.
Okay, I think I'm kind of liking this. <clears throat> a flower, a splash of water, I don't know where you find. That's gonna look really nice. Really, really nice. I will spend days trying to figure out where I want to attach it. <laughs> here, 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 half on the canvas, half off the canvas. <laughs> that tends to be how that goes. <laughs> So yeah, I'm really happy with it. I really like the cell structure that's happening in here. Uh, I really like the colors. I like how light it is. I'm gonna go ahead and, part of me wants to lift it up and, hmm. Wonder what happens if I take the blow dryer to it again. So this is something that I do all the time. I end up touching it when I should just leave it alone. So maybe I should just leave it alone. And let it be what it is. This is one of those art therapy lessons, you know, where I can just allow it to be what it wants to be instead of trying to manipulate it anymore, instead of having to control what's happening more. This is what uh, creating art has done for me is really helped me to just let go allow things to be but I think I do have to just tilt it a little bit I don't know I gotta do something with that corner <laughs> are you all screaming in the chat no don't touch it don't do anything it's perfect I hear you there I'm happier with that and one dark blue spot was bothering me There we go, there we go, now I'm a little happier. Okay, okay. So there you have it folks. Uh, the next time I come on and do another painting and it's had an opportunity to dry um, and I figure out where I wanna place the butterfly, I will do a video that shows how to uh, use the liquid glass. I'm sorry, this one corner just had too much green on it. And I wanted it white. There we go. That'll work. So yeah, I'll show you how we do the liquid glass and how I attach the metal sconce to the painting. Uh, the one, the other one that I showed you, so, so far my butterfly uh, 3D mixed media category um, art pieces have been doing really well at the art gallery. I did get Let's see, this is Bursting the Cocoon. I did get a third place recognition for this one, Bursting the Cocoon. 
And so I think it'd be neat to have a show uh, when I, next time they open things back up and I can actually take my art out uh, on display at an art walk or what have you. It'll be really neat to uh, have all my three-dimensional mixed media art pieces uh, on a big display rack. I think it would just be incredibly gorgeous. One last thing I am going to do here is <clears throat> take the torch to it, just make sure. Now by torching it, it can, with that silicone, it can make more cells if you're not careful. Some, sometimes you might want more cells. I personally like where we're at right here. I do see one thing that I don't like though. I don't know if you guys can see it. So right here, I've got this straight line of gold. That would have been, I would have been really bummed about that <laughs> if it had dried there. Like that. So there, now it's gone. It totally looked like a mistake. Now it looks like it's exactly how it's meant to be. All right, so let me go ahead and check on chat. See how y'all are doing, see who's here. Read a little bit about it. <clears throat> Boy, you the image on the screen. You can't really see it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to get a camera instead of trying to use my phone to do any of this. You really can't see how incredibly gorgeous it is. And what a bummer. Anyway, Hatter, thank you for joining me. Uh, my beautiful, awesome, incredible friend, Kat, thank you for being here. I love you, sister. Gerald Yates, thank you for being here, thank you for watching. You guys are amazing. I'll be doing more. I, I Obviously, I need to figure out a different kind of camera setup so that y'all can see how incredibly beautiful this really is. Until next time, much, 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 much love. Bye now.